Strong Into the Night, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long to belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 25. The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. I came across a devotion. It was emailed to me. I don't know who wrote it. I do want to read it to you because it helped me tremendously as I thought about how we need to end out this year. It harkens back to the very beginning of World War II. Listen to what is said. In September 1939, Great Britain allied with France and several other alarmed countries in declaring war on Hitler's Germany, which had invaded Poland in its intended march to for global domination. By the end of the year, anxieties throughout England remained on high alert. Everyone was fearful of bombing and invasion. When King George VI sat down before two large microphones to make his Christmas Day speech to the nation, he was dressed in his official uniform as Admiral of the Fleet. With so many parts of the world facing uncertain future, his goal was to reassure the people that their nation was prepared and able and their cause was right and just. A new year is at hand, the king said. We cannot tell what it will bring. If it brings peace, how thankful we shall be. If it brings continued uh, continued struggle, we shall remain undaunted. Then turning to some lines of poetry his wife had recently shared with him, he concluded his speech with these words, which are fitting close to our year together. They offer a word of encouragement that, that we hope will settle your hearts amid the troubles of our own era of history. These lines are from the gate of the year, a poem written in 1908 by Minnie Louise Haskins. I said to the man who stood at the gate of the year, give me a light that I may tread safely into the unknown. And he replied, go into the darkness and put your hand into the hand of God. That shall be to you better than light and safer than a known way. Holding God's hand is better than light and safer than a known way. I don't know what this year is going to bring. I don't know if it's going to bring continued conflict. I don't know if it's going to bring peace. What I do know is I have a relationship with the Prince of Peace. What I do know, I'm the son of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. What I do know is I serve a victorious Christ and I can hold on to his unchanging hand in the midst of these changing times. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this wonderful devotion and these concepts. I pray that we would indeed hold tenaciously to your hand in the dark times that may come knowing that you will walk us through even the darkest of valleys. I pray that you'd grant us a sense of your presence and peace as we go into this new year. Grant us your strength, God. Allow us to live in the very center of your will. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.